this May holiday, we already have the, some of the numbers coming in, and we're looking at a record number of travelers in China, so probably even a double-digit growth from the pre-COVID level of 19, uh, 2019. And uh, our, especially the high end hotels, the resort hotels, short distance trips were very, very uh, fast growth. Uh, uh, so that actually more than uh, offset the, the uh, decline in international travel. So this May holiday um, is a record. Uh, we see record volumes in our transactions. Now, of course, uh, last year, 2020, was uh, the low base, so everything uh, compared to last year would have double-digit percentage gains. But can you tell us that when you compare or you see uh, the way that people are traveling uh, since COVID, how are some of the ways, uh, the bookings that are being made, the choices that are being made in terms of airlines, hotels, how is it different to pre-COVID? Yeah, when I say double-digit, it's actually comparing the 2019 level, so it's just Actually, it's uh, uh, um, uh, more than uh, recovered. Uh, compared to the pre-COVID level, of course, uh, there will be more domestic and short-distance travel. You know, people, the money that people save from buying the international air ticket, the people spend on uh, hotels, especially higher hotels, and cars, you know, local transportation, both of which are higher margin, generates higher margin for us. So actually, even though the total transaction amount may not be reaching a record level, but in terms of the number of uh, travelers and in terms of the margins, uh, we are very optimistic. All right, James, one final question on how uh, your deals are being structured with your partners at this stage coming out of the pandemic in this recovery phase, especially with hotel operators or for that matter, uh, airliners, the kind of revenue share that you're working with them on and also discounts, average discounts uh, that you're giving out to attract more traffic. Yeah, we've been promoting some of the deals, especially staycation deals. Uh, not so much at the airline, but much more in the hotel sector. That those resort hotels in the past year, they've been willing to give very steep discounts to attract the incremental travelers. And that's been very successful. Of course, uh, given going ahead, uh, we'll continue to do it in some of the newer destinations. But actually, some of the popular destinations have been already more than recovered. They actually, the prices and the volumes are actually becoming quite tight. So I actually advise travelers in China to come to book very soon for the, your next trip.